get about a place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw Hi everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings. Welcome to my video today. I am going to be sharing with you my swap cards that I came home with. And as you can see, I have a ton of them. I have a ton of them here. I just got back yesterday and things are crazy. My office is a mess. I have projects everywhere. I'm unpacking swap cards and trying to get things put away. And my kids are ecstatic that I'm home. So you might hear them in the background. I'm sorry about that. Um, and then I wanted to sit down and like do a recap of my trip. And I thought that might be kind of boring to just have to sit and watch my face and hear about my trip. So I thought we could look at some cards while I chat with you and that that might be a little bit funner for you guys. So you can see I have tons of cards. Um, I came home with some candy. Uh, Cindy on our team gave me this whole bag of gummy bears because I love gummy bears. They're one of my favorite and this is of course my favorite brand of gummy bears. And then you guys look what I found in Utah. These are cake, what are they, cake batter M&M's? Birthday cake M&M's and they taste like chocolate birthday cake amazing so I have these and so I thought I might eat a little bit of chocolate I have some iced tea here in my cup and I thought we would just chat and have some chocolate and look at swap cards so I made too many swap cards you guys I uh, I'm just gonna show them as I chat with you and then you can pause the video if you want to look at it the card closer if I don't hold it up long enough um, I made way too many swap cards. I, I think maybe because I didn't, I've never swapped before. I didn't really, <laughs> I just didn't do well getting out there and swapping. But I ended up having quite a few left. And I noticed this year that butterflies are extremely popular. And so I ended up with a lot of butterfly cards. So we left on Wednesday morning and we headed to Utah. We drove. Wendy and I drove and we drove with her mom and her mom's best friend, which was super fun. I've known Wendy for, uh, you know, 20 plus years and I've known her mom. And so I thought, you know, it's going to be a really fun trip. And it was. It was a fun road trip. It's a 10 hour drive from where we are at. And then, of course, when you stop to refuel and take a break and stretch, it ended up being about 12 hours. So we left about 4 uh, in the morning, about 3.45, 4 o'clock. And we um, drove in and we stopped and we had breakfast and that was a lot of fun. And then we got there about 3.30. We picked up Dreamia, who is a part of our team. We picked her up from the airport. And then we um, went ahead and went to the house that we rented because we rented a house and split it and that was really fun it was really nice to not be in a hotel room um, I don't really do so well when I travel I tend to get a lot of headaches and it's very stressful for me to travel I don't like to do it and I don't like staying in hotels and so for me, it was really perfect that we rented a house. We had lots of space. It had two bedrooms. Um, well, it had three, three bedrooms. And then it had two bathrooms. It was an upstairs and a downstairs. There was tons of space. And I was a lot, I was more comfortable for sure. So we dropped our stuff out and off. And then we headed to, um, out to eat and we went to Olive Garden and I shared a lot of photos on social media so some of the things I'm talking about I'm sure you guys saw as I shared with you guys um, on Instagram and Facebook so we went out to eat and we went to Olive Garden which I love and I don't get to go to very often because there's no Olive Garden around where I live and so that was a lot of fun. And then we went to a little get together with Patty Bennett's. I'm a part of her team. And so we went to a thing that she was putting together. She put it together with Janet Wakeland and one other demonstrator. And I'm sorry that I do not know who that was. And so it was fun. I got to see the rest of the team that had flown in the day before and that day. And I got to see them. And then I got to see Patty and I had uh, her mug for her. And I I gave that to her and then um, we just kind of hung around um, it wasn't a formal thing it was just we were hanging around we did some make and takes I never do make and takes at these events because it stresses me out I usually always just bring home um, my items and then I make them at home 
so that was fun and then we headed back to the room back to the house and we hung out there and talked until very very late at night <laughs> and uh, that was fun so then on Thursday we went and we went to the convention we swapped cards we listened to opening session um, we did a few other things there at lunchtime Wendy and Dreamy and I went over to the mall to look for shoes for Wendy she needed shoes for the awards night that night and uh, so we went to the mall and walked around it was right across from the convention center and then um, we headed back to the convention and just did the classes and different things that they were doing and that was a lot of fun and then we did awards night and her mom and her best friend Candy came with us and that's about when Wendy's mom started not feeling good and she had some she has some health problems and she just started not feeling so good and so we did awards night and then we uh, came home this some of these were my founders circle um, it was a swap that we put together like I know this is Wendy's swap card from the founder circle swap that we did and some of these are full card and I can see that they are um, they're more they're a full card and then they have more to do with them so after we uh, got back after awards night we kind of hung out it was late uh, we went out to dinner after awards night we went to the red iguana I believe is what it's called it was featured on um, dr uh, diners drive-in and dives with Guy Fieri and it's one of the restaurants he went to and so we went there it's a Mexican restaurant and it was really fun it was a great restaurant I mean it was amazing the food was amazing um, the atmosphere oh see there's some more that swap cards left over for mine um, so it was pretty amazing so that was a lot of fun when we got back Wendy's mom wasn't doing so well she wasn't feeling so well and um, so that was unfortunate so on Saturday her uh, mom Wendy's mom uh, went ahead and they headed home and we had we had driven out and so Wendy's mom and her best friend oh this came undone uh, went ahead and headed home and uh, we decided that we would just go ahead and get a um, rental car and uh, drive home that was the plan so unfortunately because of the con convention being in town and all these things going on we could not get a rental car so we ended up having to fly home and uh, we booked a flight and had to fly home the next day um, luckily everything was okay it wasn't too expensive we got a got two plane tickets and everything was good so Saturday the convention ended we had a, an amazing um, Sarah the she's basically acting as CEO while Shelly Gardner is away on a mission um, Sarah gave some amazing remarks and really there was not a dry eye in the house when she spoke I don't remember exactly which day it was that she spoke but she really shared a very heartfelt um, speech with us and talked with us and that was really amazing and it was really amazing to get to see um rich who is the i don't know who he is i'm sorry i should have wrote notes out for you guys but anyways he it runs the company as well and they shared with us um just the financial where the financial where the company is financial this is wendy's as well i i can t tell yeah wendy's this is a swap card from Wendy. Um, and so that was really amazing. And uh, that was interesting to hear. And I loved hearing that and hear and seeing how transparent they were. And just walking around at convention was really nice. I got to see um, a lot of people. I got to talk to Connie Stewart. I got in line to get coffee. And Connie was there and remembered me from Founders Circle. And I got to chat with her. And that it's always inspiring to me to be able to talk to these demonstrators that are doing this and, and doing um, it with their whole heart. And I just love talking to all of everybody at convention. I mean, there was not one person that I didn't love talking to and hearing how things are working for them and what they're doing. And so, but I got to talk to Connie Stewart and then I did get to talk to Mary Fish and oh, there's one of mine in there. And so that was fun. And then um, one of the, on, I believe it was 
it would have been on Friday, I got to meet my pink stamper, Robin, and that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. Um, I got to talk to her for quite a not a long time but you know a few minutes and I just it, I've been following her since the very beginning since she started her blog since um she was involved with the cricket uh that's where I kind of got my start crafting and sharing online was when I was using the cricket and um so that it was really fun to see her and talk to her and um, just kind of talk about how I had, you know, I, I was really actually starstruck when I talked to her. Um, she's the only one that I was really nervous to talk to just because I've been following her for so long. And um, but she was very kind. She was very nice, very down to earth. Uh, she remembered me from when I applied to her design team so that was kind of crazy she asked if I had applied to her design team and I said yeah and she said why didn't I pick you and I said well because my stuff sucks <laughs> and she said no 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 that's not why I picked you uh, didn't pick you but it was funny that she knew I had applied to her design team so that was fun and then after convention ended um, there was actually a managers a manager and above uh, get together and we got to uh, hear um, one of the gals her name is Jenna and I'll try to link her name or put her name up on the screen because she's actually given TED talks she's done a TED talk and she was phenomenal I mean she was amazing I felt like she was speaking directly to me I mean probably my favorite part of convention was the managers uh, get together it was called uh, on stage and it was for managers and above and that was probably my absolute favorite thing of convention ever was that uh, little um, thing they did and then um, meeting Robin my pink stamper was a highlight and then it was amazing to talk to you guys I know several of you guys came up to me and um first of all recognized me which I thought was absolutely insane um, but several of you came up and knew who I was and talked to me and I loved meeting every single one of you so that to me was a huge it was huge to me because sometimes we forget I forget that doing what I do I do it because I love to do it I love doing this job I love being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator I love uh, doing Project Life talking about Project Life but most of all I love reaching out to you guys and helping you that is the thing that I love the most when you guys email me and say I'm having this problem with project life and I need some help that I love that I love being able to say here let me help you with that let me help you figure this out so I really enjoyed meeting um all of you guys uh one gal in particular Raquel I hope I say that right she came up to Wendy and I and introduced herself and we knew we wanted to meet her she's kind of been in contact with us before convention and I just have to say I love her I love you Raquel if you're watching you are amazing and it was so fun to meet you and just get to talk to you so that was really um, the highlight for me was getting to meet everybody, talk to everybody. So after the managers uh, get together thing, I don't know what to call it. I keep wanting to call it a manager's reception, but it really wasn't a reception. It was a kind of like a meeting kind of thing. So after that ended, um, we had to walk over to the mall again because Wendy needed to buy luggage. She didn't have any luggage. All the stuff that the way she packed was in just like 31 totes that you carry. So she was not in a suitcase. So we walked over to find luggage for her and then we walked a million miles with the suitcase um, to the restaurant where we uh, had had dinner with Patty and um, all of our team, our Loves to Stamp team and Lovely Stampers team. Um, all of us that could got together and we had dinner. And that was really fun. And um, w we had to have two separate tables. And Wendy and I sat at a table with Carrie and Bonnie. And they are on Wendy, uh, not Wendy's team, I'm sorry, on Patty Bennett's team. And... It was so, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. And then it was funny because Carrie was telling us about Uber, which is the, it's like a cab. You, It's an app. Um, I, I did not know about this. So probably everybody that's watching already knew about it. 
so that's okay if you guys knew about it and I didn't. Um, it's like a cab. It's like an app and you, when you need a ride, you use it and then somebody comes and picks you up and it's, it's like a person in their regular car and they come and they pick you up and they take you to your destination and it's a lot cheaper than cabs. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. What if they murder you? Like, how is that safe? And Carrie laughed at me and said, how is it any safer than a cab? Like, it's actually safer because the person that's driving gets rated and you get rated and they can choose not to pick you up and you and you see who's picking you up. And then this company knows like exactly the person that gets in the car with the person. I mean, it's like, and I was like, oh, that kind of is safer. So I was like, well, you know, I live out in the country and I'm not very adventurous and this kind of thing scares me to no end so let's just be brave and let's do this and so Carrie came out to our house uh, we did uber and she came out to the house and we had a little glass of wine and um, didn't get murdered by the uber person and it was so fun so we were like we are totally gonna do this tomorrow on our way to the airport because the cab rides were about uh, they were about 23, uh, 20 to 24 dollars really by the time to go out to the house from the convention center. So we were like, we're totally going to do this. So Carrie hung out with us for a little bit, went back to her hotel room. And then the next morning, Dreamia had to leave early. Her flight was earlier than ours. So she left. I felt really bad at a really crazy time. Like she had to leave at like 5 a.m. from the house. So then, uh, Wendy and I, we needed to leave by 6.30. We got up, took care of the house, all the things that needed to be done with the house. And then we left and we used Uber. Such a weird name. I always want to say Goober. Uh, but we used that. And because it was our first time, Wendy's first time using the app, she got a $20 credit. And so the ride to the airport was only ended up being like three dollars it was like three dollars and 26 cents so we were ecstatic the guy that we got on the way to the house the night before his name was tito and he actually was a scrapbooker he totally did scrapbooks for his kids and it was so fun to talk to him and then the guy on our way to the airport was a um and he had been a he'd been in the navy for 20 years and it was so fun to talk to him and so that it was really fun. So our plane, it was wonderful. The plane trip was not stressful at all. We flew into San Francisco and then we caught a puddle jumper plane over to Sacramento. So you guys, I am a stress case when it comes to, oh my word. Okay, we're gonna have to talk about this one. So I'm a stress case when it comes to flying and traveling and I've never been on a puddle jumper plane ever like so I was like what is this we have to walk out onto like where the planes are taking off to get on this plane like I was like completely freaked out so we go, we did that we got on a little plane and headed to Sacramento it was a 15 minute flight we were in the air then we were on the ground and it was awesome and the plane didn't crash and I didn't die <laughs> so that was really fun so we got into Sacramento and Wendy's husband picked us up and we um, got home last night so it was a little bit better than driving because it wasn't as um it didn't take as long you know so that was really nice oh this is like a 3d i'm gonna show you guys my 3d swaps too so that was really nice and it was good to, i was glad to be home and then the craziness started you know the unpacking and all of that uh craziness started to happen so those were all of my swap cards that i came home with and then there's some 3D cards, but I want to show you guys this one. This one is crazy. So I don't know how many, I wonder if this was Founder's Circle. This must have been Founder's Circle because that is a ton of, these are the pearls that have the silver rim. And I cannot imagine making many more of those, like many of these and having to use that much product, but that's beautiful. It's a Christmas one. So then I have a few, oh, here's a couple more. These must be Founder Circle because they're full cards. Love that. Then there's this. So then I have a few 3D. I gotta get a drink. So here's a few 3D. I didn't make 3D swaps, but there were just a few 
people that were kind enough to give me a 3D swap and there's this little guy. It's like a little milk carton. There's something in it and I hate to try to see what's in it because I'm going to have to rip it. But let's see what's in it. So there is chocolate, dark chocolate, and I don't like dark chocolate. So that's going right in the trash. The dark chocolate. But that's cute. That's not going in the trash. So then there is, this is kind of, I consider it a 3D swap. This is a little fry box. And then inside is a caramel milk chocolate, my favorite. So I'm just going to go ahead and eat that right away when I'm done with this video. Then there is this, which this, I asked the lady if I could have one. Because I think this is going to be great for a school a uh, little gift. I don't know if I'll do it for the first day of school, but it will be perfect for the kids when I'm doing something, when I have to do something for school. So then there was this 3D swap. This is a, it's like a little drink packet and it has that, which is beautiful, right? And then this was Wendy's little, she had a little gift to give um, any of her YouTube followers and we, Dreamy and I guilted her in to giving us one. She wasn't going to give us one. And we totally made a big deal, big fuss about it and guilted her into giving us one. And I don't feel bad because I love it. It's so cute. It's a bookmark and a shaker card, kind of. Then there was this, which I thought was so super cute. It's like uh, paper, you know, that you write on. And a little ring and it's a little, our book, not our bookmark, but our tag topper punch is what the gal used and she had a ton of these and I could not believe she put all these together for convention and then there was this cutie this cutie patootie and it has a little I love this on the clothespin with the heart and again I'm gonna have to so in order to open it I'm gonna have to undo it but there's something in here and we would like to see what and it looks like dove chocolate so let's save this container because it's cute and then the dark chocolate will have to go in the trash but the milk chocolate I will keep so that is my swaps that I brought home and that is my recap of convention I'm sorry you guys I'm not on camera to chat with you I hope you enjoyed it this way better so you could take a look at all the swap cards that I had I'm gonna take a photo of a few of them and that will be on my coordinating blog post you can get to that by just clicking right up here um, you'll see some photos and I wish I wish I could give you chocolate if you went over there, but I can't. Um, maybe someday we'll be able to do that, but I can't give the chocolate. But I can say thank you for visiting my blog. So hopefully you'll see some photos over there, and I'll be back on Friday. And on Friday, I'm going to share a very special video and talk with you guys about uh, something that I'm going to start doing. And I'm a little bit excited about it only because I don't know how it's going to go yet. But I'm going to share all of that with you guys on Friday. So I'll be back then. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I will talk to you on Friday. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw out.